So as we think about doing any of these complete the square problems, first of all, have your rules ready. Like don't come to a gunfight and just have a knife. These are available. Don't go looking for them. Have a formula sheet already where you know what you're looking for. I can see then that this looks like we are in the form of arc sine. So I'm going to try to complete the square in the denominator and I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over the square root. Well, I'm going to leave that 7 there, but I'm going to start moving these next terms around. I'm going to put the x squared first and then the 2x next. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a, a negative because I hate factoring when x squared is negative. So I'm going to make this minus x squared plus 2x plus a blank because I know I'm going to have to complete the square. Okay, and this is going to equal something because whatever gets added in will get subtracted from the other side, but not in this case. We'll talk about why in a minute. Half of 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1. But it is not true to write a 1 there because everything here is being subtracted. I factored out that negative. So this is really a negative 1. So the other side gets a positive 1 added on. Now when I bring it all back together, I'm going to move this over by subtracting 1, subtracting 1. I really have 6 minus x squared plus 2x plus 1. But I don't want to write it like x squared plus 2x plus 1. That's not what I want this to look like. I want it to be in the square fashion. Well, that's x plus that thing we added. So 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Whatever that number is, is the number in here. That all is squared, 6 minus that. So that's really what we have here. We have the integral of 1 over 6 minus x plus 1 quantity squared. Now let's rewrite this arc sine. Well, they say integral, and of course we'd have a dx here. Integral of 1 du over the square root of a squared minus u squared. Well, hopefully you can see then, hey, here's my 6. Here's my something squared. So really that means 6 equals a squared, or a equals the square root of 6. Similarly, if u squared equals x plus 1 quantity squared, then u is exactly x plus 1. And now we plug everything into our formula. I need then arc sine of u, well u is x plus 1, over a, a is square root of 6, plus c. That would be my final answer.